Good afternoon, everyone. Meteorologist Thomas Geeboy here. Happy Monday, if you can classify it as a happy Monday. Most people off work, so that indeed will make it happy. But I want to go ahead and bring to your attention, there is a chance for seeing some severe weather later on today. First, we didn't really think we were going to see severe weather today. We thought today was going to mainly be an overcast day. However, saw enough of the sun. That means you get enough heating. That adds stability to instability to the atmosphere. Excuse me. So that's why we do indeed have a chance for seeing some severe weather later on today. So that's why I wanted to do this webcast, make sure everyone stays aware. That yellow area you see there, that is a tornado watch. That goes until 9 p.m. tonight. Notice it cuts off in the Georgia, Georgia line. So for the most part, all of northwestern Florida, all the wire grass in Alabama included in this tornado watch. The further east you are, the less chance you'll see. But notice back towards the west near I-65. Also back in Mississippi, good storms moving through, but the ones I'm most concerned with are the ones you see in the bottom portion of your screen. Those little storms off the near the Gulf of Mexico, those are the ones that we're going to be watching, but first let's go ahead and focus on the ones closer to 65 near Covington and also Crenshaw County. There's a severe thunderstorm warning just to the northwest of Bruton. Also, you see those couple tornado warnings near the western edge of Alabama as well. So go ahead and focus in just a little bit. So just moving, about to move through Jackson, Alabama, also just to the northeast of Thomasville. Those moving off to the northeast rather quickly. Like I said, the ones that I'm most concerned with are the ones in the Gulf of Mexico. Main reason is we've been looking at them, we've been looking inside these storms, and they're producing some pretty strong winds, and they're moving off to the northeast, which means most likely going to be affecting Walton or either Bay County here within the next hour and a half or two hours or so. So as I put the wind speed on this, it's producing some pretty strong winds now up to 76 miles per hour. That would be more than severe criteria. So right now that's not a severe thunderstorm warning you see. That's a special marine warning. So moving off to the northeast rather quickly. For the most part, when it comes to severe weather, the storms that are by themselves are usually the ones that can produ produce the most damage. So we'll have to continue to watch that. We're going to be moving off to the northeast. So if you're in Walton County or if you're in Bay County, you might see it. Also, Holmes County probably going to see it. Well, Holmes and also Washington County probably going to be seeing this within the next two hours. Hopefully it kind of dies down before we get to that point. But the chance for severe weather is there later on this afternoon and this evening. Severe outlook, the slight risk. So the best chance of seeing severe weather are, is the further west you are. Dynamics not looking as good the further east you travel, but the threat is still there. So as we put the future cast on this, expecting to become a main line. So around your dinner time is when we're going to be watching this. Straight line winds, also potential spin up is possible. So be careful if you are headed out this evening to make sure you have a severe weather plan in place. We should be clearing out by midnight tonight. So chance for severe weather is there today. Those storms that we're watching in the Gulf of Mexico, we'll have a close eye on them as they move through. We'll continue to do updates on social media, also Periscope potentially, and also if I can try to get this whole Facebook live stream thing settled down. But for the most part, chance of severe weather today. Make sure that you do stay weather aware. If you have any comments or questions, leave them at the social media sites you see below. I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Just make sure you stay extra careful as we head through this afternoon. We'll talk to you later.